Hey folks, happy Friday. We continue our FUMCCV uh, devotional uh, following our 2021 prayer calendar. It is September 17th. Um, and uh, our passage today is from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. So I'll let you go ahead and find that. Uh, 2 Corinthians is in the uh, New Testament. So uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 5, 17. While you're getting there, let me just say uh, next week I am uh, getting away for a week uh, or off for a week and um, will not be doing these devotionals. Um, so the uh, prayer calendar, it follow it. I encourage you to do so. Um, They'll be posted on Facebook, uh, the devotional, <clears throat> uh, the, the each day. Um, but I won't be uh, doing these devotionals on YouTube. So we'll miss you all. We'll be back uh, the week uh, after. So 2 Corinthians 5, 17. So if anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away. See, everything has become new. Remember, this week we're talking about creation. Next week we're talking about restoration. Uh, so I'm going on vacation. I'll get a little restoration uh, next week. But uh, creation. Now, let me just set the, make sure we understand what's happening here in Corinthians. And in the church in Corinth, the people were arguing about whether you had to be Jewish heritage or Gentile heritage in order to be a Christian. And uh, of course, the Gentiles were saying, well, you got to be like us. And the Jews were saying, you got to be like us. And Paul says, no, no, there in Christ, we are all new. What, what was in the past is gone. And we are all new in Christ. That there is a, a sort of new creation story. And that is that, that we have died to life and we have risen in Christ. So we are new. So if you're a Jew in the past, great. Gentile in the past, great. You don't have to be either though in order to be in Christ. I wonder, you know, for kids who, for, for people who grew up sort of in the church, like we call them cradle Christians, right? Like they were, come from a Christian family, they just were forever. Um, and they, there's no recollection of a time before their Christian faith. There's, a, you know, a good number of people like that. But for those folks who do remember when you came to faith, and maybe you didn't grow up in a Christian home or, or whatever, but there came a certain point where you came to faith in Christ, can you identify things that passed away, were gone, because now you were a new creation in Christ? For some of you, that might be an interesting journey. I know for me, I came to my faith as a 14-year-old. Um, and so I can look back and, and uh, you know, obviously I was maturing um, during those years. Uh, and so there are certain things changing anyways. But I can look back and see some things that were different about me after than before. And there were some things that passed away um, and were no more because now I was a new creation in Christ. And really, isn't every day like that an opportunity for us to awake and to become a new creation in Christ? So what needs to die from your life so that you might live more fully in Christ? Think about that. Pray about that today. I hope this is helpful to you. God bless. I'll see you in a week.